So because people seem to be interested in the projects that I do, here's a new video about my handmade speaker. What you are looking at is a handmade speaker that is made from MDF and is driven by two 5 inch subs and four 1.5 inch treble speakers with a combined wattage of about 42 watts. Now that doesn't sound like a lot of power, but when the speakers are put into a correctly designed case, it allows it to become very loud. I got the speakers and amplifiers from two old iPod docks that I got secondhand online. This worked really well because it was low cost and each came with a sub and two treble speakers for very little money. It also included controls for EQ and audio input. And like all my projects, I designed it again with Google SketchUp. Now just to make this clear, I am not an expert on speakers and their enclosures. In fact, I'm not even close, but with some online research, I learned a lot about speaker enclosure design. As a hobbyist, I chose to make a sealed speaker enclosure. I chose to do this because a sealed design offers a louder speaker with an even distribution of volume across all notes and an EQ that looks like this. If I chose to part a hole in my speaker enclosure, it becomes a ported speaker, which is quieter but emphasizes bass notes and is much harder to design. It requires a specific type of speaker driver and amplifier, so as a general rule, a sealed speaker is far easier to design and offers very good sound quality. Another important factor in the design is the shape and volume of air behind the speaker driver. Depending on the size of the speaker itself depends on the volume of air required. There are plenty of online calculators that help me to work out the size of my enclosure. For my 5 inch speakers, I had a volume of air of about 8.5 litres and it seemed to have worked well. The amplifiers were put in the middle part of my speaker and to control the volume I soldered these bolts to capacitive touch sensors They controlled the amplifiers volume. So when I touch them the volume goes up and down. I also made a back with a fan to keep the amplifiers cool. It was made with MDF and I just butt jointed it all together with screws and glue. To get all the angles I used my miter saw. I used normal water based paint and masking tape to achieve the design. They were all music inspired and when the paint had dried I screwed it in the speakers and turned it on. To evaluate my speaker, I performed a test that shows how it performs with pitches below 200 Hz. The spectrum analyzer on the phone also indicates how loud these pitches are during the test. 10 Hz, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. So to conclude, I think that this project has been a real success. The sound is great, it looks great, and I'm very happy. If you are planning on making your own speaker box, I recommend researching and calculating what size your box needs to be before designing it. Anyway, thanks for listening.